I guess a gym rat is just somebody that's obsessed themselves with going to the gym and uh, working out and just doing the basic uh, lifestyle of eat, sleep, breathe gym, addicted to working out. I'm kind of obsessed with progression, I guess, and uh, it's something that you can always be better at and always keep succeeding in. So gym rat, that term originated back in, I want to say the 1970s. Uh, it was somewhat of a derogatory term. A gym rat, when I think of that term, I think of somebody who is dedicated and will persevere through all the hurdles and the roadblocks that the ordinary person um, has to deal with day to day. Are the bodybuilders back in the day who work out in these uh, almost like dark basements, you know, and, and, and they would emerge wearing hoodies, be it all covered up. They don't accept ex excuses. They, they have goals in mind, they're driven. I guess what I'm trying to say is that they're not superhuman beings. They're not uh, beings from another planet or anything like that. They're just, they're focused. And, and, and I feel like anybody, any ordinary person can fill the shoes of a gym rat. Uh, my full name is Ryan Edward Frame. I'm uh, 26, about to be 27. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy. Uh, that's about it. I actually started working out for a couple reasons. I had a friend in high school that was really big into it and uh, he was kind of like a big brother to me. He, uh, he had a lot of confidence and like, he was just a really admirable guy. And uh, the gym was just something really big that he was into and he kind of took me under his wing and we started doing it together. And uh, I kind of started doing it I think for the attention aspect of it and uh, like stop getting bullied and whatnot and all that kind of junk but it kind of turned into a thing where I be became personally obsessed with a lot of the aspects of working out and like what it was doing to me uh, therapy wise. I've always had an issue with my perception of myself versus other people's reality. Uh, and typically I'll see myself in a far like dimmer light than other people will see me and stuff like that. So even if I'm doing good at something or I've made really good progress, I'll see myself as like the little kid that I started out as, that everybody bullied, you know, and, and whatever. A gym rat has some sort of personal obsession or compulsion to go and do all these things besides what anyone else thinks or wants of that person. It's kind of like they have, to, they have to do it or else they just don't feel like their day is over if they haven't done it. It's like a it becomes a part of your senses, it's like eat, sleep, breathe, and then that becomes one of those things that they just need to do, I guess. So I met Jason here a little while back ago here at the gym I work out at, and uh, I've always had a tendency to go up to guys that are bigger and stronger and like admirable to me and some, have something that I'd like to obtain and talk their ears off and whatnot, and he was one of these guys uh, and typically they always give me a bunch of advice like, oh, do this, do that, you'll get there one day. But uh, Jason was one of the first people that actually seemed interested in me and told me uh, 
uh, if I'm actually trying to take things seriously and whatnot, and I should try competing with them and stuff like that if I really want to see what I'm doing and see if I have what it takes. And so I've kind of gone under his wing a little bit, and he's going to help me uh, prepare to compete in my first show here sometime in the spring. My name is uh, Jason Sewell, and I uh, just turned 41 this year. I know, I know, I'm fucking old, freaking old, man. Uh, currently, currently, I'm focusing more on the bodybuilding aspect. Uh, I'm getting ready for a competition in April. It'll be my first one, and so I'm pulling away from the powerlifting aspect and trying to put on as much mass uh, in regards to muscle as I as I can. I will. Uh, bulk for three months and then I will cut down for three months approximately and uh, yeah hopefully be show ready. In the past kind of combine the powerlifting and the bodybuilding together so uh, a power builder is kind of what they uh, what they say I guess but uh, I would I would approach each workout with a major core lift or a compound movement so we're talking bench deadlift or squat and then after knocking out uh, a power lifters type workout uh, in regards to like the rep ranges and the weight and the sets were kind of centered around, centered, centered around uh, a power lifters approach. After I accomplished that, I would fall back to a bodybuilding style workout. So we're talking higher reps, lower weight, uh, really concentrating on the contraction of the muscles rather than just simply moving the weight. As a child, I uh, used to sit and watch these action movies with my dad. Yeah. And my dad used to get so excited about those, those actors and, um, you know, the, the action sequences and, and uh, you know, when they walk into a room, everyone, you know, would, would stop and be like, oh, who's that guy, you know? Seeing how people reacted to some of the, the older individuals I knew when I was a younger guy who were built, who were not just, uh, they weren't just built, but they were intelligent as well. They had uh, great jobs and everything like that. You know, when they walked into the room, the eyes of everyone there would, would, would kind of turn to them. You know, they would, they would stop, they would look, they, they'd be curious, you know, who is that guy? You know, I, I want to talk to him. You know, the girls would be like, ooh, he's hot. You know, th those kind of things kind of inspired me. I also wanted to make sure that I would never be picked on. I moved around a lot as a, as a young person, so I wanted to make sure that if, you know, I needed to defend myself that I could. Seeing my dad, you know, drunk at, at 10 o'clock in the morning and, and those kind of things, you know, definitely helped um, push me into the direction that I'm currently in, you know, in regards to maintaining the physique, um, staying healthy, setting personal goals constantly. Um, and I and I appreciate him um, in that in that respect. Now that uh, I guess looking back, you know, because uh, I, I I definitely learned from him the things not to do. I guess to uh, better yourself and to get rid of those uh, those demons and those those chains that that uh, people find themselves, you know, dragging along or or being held back by. You know, getting up on stage. Presenting my physique the best way that I know uh, know how is going to be is going to be something new. I'm looking forward to it. Regarding the future, I think uh, I think I'll slide back over to the powerlifting portion or side of things, you know, and and maybe try to do a, a powerlifting competition. And then at that point, I, I'll probably uh, just maintain my physique, you know, continue eating healthy and and uh, keeping the temple as as healthy as possible because we only have one. Got to, got to treat, treat it with respect.
and a, a little bit of honor, I think. Yeah, that's probably what the future holds. I don't think I'll stop until I, until I die.